Hey everyone, this is Carefree Llama, and I honestly had an experience today I didn't expect. I decided to give the community a chance and try these guided games on a Nightfall. Now, the guided games have some cool features that I didn't expect. First off, before you even start a guided game, it makes you take an oath that you promise to uphold certain uh, things that you'll do. You'll have a mic, you won't leave, you'll change your weapons if you have to, just basically the normal important stuff that we all do for nightfalls but people who are joining guided games might not realize and then on top of that you can't just leave you have to vote and get permission to leave or else you can't join another guided game unless you get that permission so no rage quitters they'll be punished and so it's it looks like it's going to be a promising thing now my one big negative that i did take from the experience is it took a solid 13 minutes before i found a team to play with so if you're wanting to do this quick, you just have to sit there. You can't be doing other activities. You can't be uh, patrolling. You can't be doing anything else. You just have to sit there waiting in the queue for <laughs> about 15 minutes. To me, it was 13, but uh, just be ready for that. The very first team I found was just two guys who were like me, just wanting to play, were very friendly, very forgiving and just allowed me to enjoy myself and I didn't feel pressured by them. I didn't feel as though I had to live up to a certain expectation. And so I was pleasantly surprised with how much I enjoyed guided games. And I wanted to let everyone else know this because I'm, I'm afraid that some people would be scared of it. If you've gone to the Bungie forums, you know that there's a toxic community there. If you've played in Looking for Group, you know there's a lot of toxic people there. But I just want to let you know that not everybody on the forums, not everybody looking for group, and not everybody who's going to do guided games is toxic. And so definitely give it a try. If you get people who are toxic, suffer through it, do what you have to do. But know that most of the time, and I believe this, most of the time you're going to get people who are like you and just want to complete it but couldn't find a group to do it. And it took us two tries, and most of that was actually my fault. Uh, there was a time where I had to step away from the nightfall, literally drop my controller, and go all the way to the other side of my house because I had a child who had thrown up and my wife was cleaning it up and I needed to help her and, and make sure everything was taken care of there. And it was almost five minutes I was gone. And when I got back and apologized, thinking they were going to be upset or possibly even try and kick me, they were gracious and they still let me stay with them to try a second attempt. And so I just want to give you guys the heads up. Guided games are kind of cool, and it got me my Nightfall win this week a lot earlier than I would have if I'd have waited for my usual friends who uh, normally do it on Thursday or Friday. So definitely give it a try if you haven't already. And uh, next thing I'm going to do is try guided games for the raid. And I have a feeling that won't be quite as good of an experience, but I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. I'll record it as well and let you know what I find out about it. Anyway, if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe for more Destiny content in the future. I'm also going to start playing some Fortnite Battle Royale if you like that game or like any of the Battle Royale style games. And so uh, subscribe if you want to see that. Subscribe for the Destiny content. Just uh, all around subscribe because, you know, Carefree Llama, he's a pretty cool dude. <laughs> see you later, guys.